Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Geronimo. Two fingers in the center underneath I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a curve line down, straight line, curve line in and stop. Come back to the dot. We're going to draw a curve line down, straight line, curve line in and stop. Right here on the bottom left, I'm going to draw a curve line down off the page. Come up on the right hand side, I'm going to draw a curve line down off the page. Now I'm going to fill in curve lines left to right, closing in this space. Once I get to this part, then I do curve line up down, curve line up down, connect. I come over on the left and I'm going to draw a curve line down off the page, come on the right, curve line down off the page. Come back to the left, we're just going to draw a straight line down on the left, come on the right, straight line down on the right. Okay. Come back to the top, and we're just going to draw a straight line right in the middle. And from that top part, I'm going to draw a big curve line down, out, and wavy line in, connect. Come back to that center line to the left, curve line down, wavy line, connect. Come back to the center line and to the left. We're just going to draw a curve line to the left and a slightly curved line to the right. Now we come right here in the center and I'm going to put a dot and from that dot I'm going to draw a slightly curved line down, out, and over. Let's put a little line up. Come over here on the left hand side I'm going to draw a curved line, wavy line up, connect on the left, curved line, wavy line up, connect on the right. Come right down below. I'm going to draw a straight line on the left and a straight line on the right. I come back to the left and right about here I'm just going to draw a curve line up, connect, and on this corner right here I'm going to draw a curve line up, connect. Come down to the bottom and just draw a curve line Come over here on the left, draw a curve line down on the left, and a curve line down on the right. Okay. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to color the insides of my eyes black so I can see what I'm doing. Then the next thing I'm going to do, and this is why it's good sometimes to have the big fat crayons, is I'm going to do his hair and I'm just going to do it with lines. Now wherever direction you put the lines makes a difference on the texture of your final drawing. So I'm going to come up, bring it down. I'm using my initial drawing line just to give me the space that I'm going to be coloring. But if my lines go out, that's fine because it is his hair and it did get a little out of line but I'm going to use my big fat crayon. If you don't have a big fat black crayon go ahead and use your regular crayons but this is all black. Okay? So you do his eyes and do his hair. He was Apache so it was very thick black hair. Okay? Next <clears throat> I'm going to take my brown and I'm going to do my eyebrows. Okay. And next, I'm going to double color my face. So if you have peach or tan or another flesh color, you can go ahead and put a layer of that color on first. 
so that we get a double color. Some of you might say, well, I don't have that color. That is fine because we're going to take our brown anyways and loop-de-loop -loop over the top. Okay. Now, he was out in the sun a lot, so he's got really kind of leathery, weathered skin. So you can kind of go a little heavy on the brown, not so heavy though that you can't find his eyeballs or his eyebrows anymore. But that's basically, basically it. Okay? Next, going to take a red and we're just going to follow these lines that we already drew in black. This is his neck uh, handkerchief, maybe a bandana. Follow this down. And then with our brown, one of our browns, we're going to go over, double color, this section also. So this is all double colored red and brown. Now I come over here on his shoulders and I do this section brown, this section brown. If, big if, if you have another color of brown, you can do this section that color because he has on buckskins so this can also be that color okay now what we do in the background is all dependent on whether or not you have a lot of different color greens I have three but I'm gonna start on the left and I'm just gonna draw a wavy line down all the way across you know, I've done this on some of my other drawings, but I'll show you what we're going to do. And we're going to add a loop so that it looks like he's in a, a background with leaves. So I'm just adding a wavy line, then I do a curved line to the background to look like leaves in the background. It doesn't have to be exact because it is vegetation. We're going to just put a little bit of a vegetation look on the background. Now I take my yellow green and I color in between all of the leaves I just drew. You're going to do way better coloring than I am. I'm doing this kind of quick. But I'm going to fill in next to the leaves with my green. Bring it all the way down and around. Don't draw through your drawing. And then with my third green, I actually color in the leaves. So he's really in a background of all green. So if you don't have a bunch of greens, you can still do this using your regular green. Just make it light and dark. Okay? Bring it all the way down. Okay. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's Geronimo, all colored in, and a very famous Native American. Okay, bye-bye.